Well, we fortunately had a chance to bring some people out to see, do some great white cage diving, which um, a lot of people on the boat haven't done. Some of my friends are first time experience in Australia. So fortunately for me, I've done it a few times, uh, 30 odd years ago and 12 years ago. So uh, it's, a, it's a treat, to be honest with you, because it's going to be a, a, a dying um, opportunity in life. And right here in South Australia, you've got some of the best. And, we saw four great whites, a uh, nice juvenile and a couple of big ones. So I think from everybody's perspective, it was a very productive day. Excellent. And why is this a must-do experience when this thing's out in Australia? Look, I think, you know, the, the great whites got a, a, a name that's um, notorious for, you know, ever since Jaws, the movie came out, I think it put a bad light on the, on the shark, to be honest with you. And, I grew up on the Great Barrier Reef and I do a lot of diving all over the world and um, I'm a big shark fan to be honest with you and uh, from a conservation standpoint to see what we can do to actually see their beauty and mother nature is special. Um, being in a cage obviously is one thing but if you get to experience them when there's no cage around you and you see how truly beautiful and magnificent the animals they are, um, I've got a soft spot for them obviously and um, you know this is South Australia is one of those unique places in the world where you actually get to see, feel it, and actually sometimes if you're lucky enough in my back, in my day, not today, that you can actually touch them. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> so now looking forward, we've got the first ever Australian Live Golf yeah. Tournament. Uh, what can fans expect from Look, I think um, from my perspective, Australia has really embraced it. South Australia, obviously, with their, the South Australian government, uh, the, when we first approached them and I sat down with the Premier and uh, talked to him about the opportunity, there wasn't any other second thought about where we're going, what we're going to do. And you've got to admire that in the government uh, because they see what golf can deliver and it's really stood up to the test of time very, very quickly. Extremely surprised how quickly the tickets sold. Uh, we're at a point where we're sold out way, way before anything. And, and we had to open up the pro-am spots, which we've never done before. And when you think about how far livers come in a year, right, with the support of the South Australian government, our, our future is extremely bright. And uh, look, I, I thank the Premier, I thank all his staff, I thank everybody from the South Australian government. But when you see about you know, the, the, the reach of the ticket sales, where they've gone all through Australia, number one, New Zealand, up into Asia, South Africa, so the reach point uh, tells you the testament of our plat platform and we're, we're changing the demographics. Uh, you know, golf has needed this uh, from a player's perspective, from a franchise perspective, from a, uh, shareholders. It's first time private equity has been injected into the game of golf and uh, our product is, you know, it's magnificent. The people are going to see it uh, come Friday, Saturday, Sunday and uh, I'm proud of it. Uh, my initiative very early on was when I became CEO and uh, commissioner of this of the league uh, was to bring it to Australia and Australia has embraced it. Our fans have embraced it and our players, I mean our players are so excited to be here. Actually I've landed last night and uh, some of the players have never been here before it's just said oh my gosh can, you know, what a beautiful place this is. So a lot to see, a lot to feel and um, you know, our tournament's going to really just stand on its own two feet come Sunday night. Excellent. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you.